Welcome to Quill Sword Blogcast. Istophobes don't care anymore. It's not like the word salad coming out of the left means anything anyway. The whole white guilt thing was past its expiration date. Besides being cringy as all get out, it made no historic sense at all. A white man's life expectancy in the interior of Africa in the 19th century was shorter than the life expectancy of a black man brought to the Caribbean, one year and three years respectively. Hint, whites had help. Should modern Africans pay African Americans reparations for things they didn't do to people who never experienced those things? And so the whole argument devolves into absurdity. It gets worse when you play this game on Twitter, where some bot slash troll will assure you that your problem is your white fragility. These are hysterically funny when the white troll tells that to a black conservative. Gee, it's like human beings are more than merely their skin color. Who'd have thunk? Oh, yeah, MLK. Men are women. All whites are racist. All blacks are oppressed. And the only solution is to try communism, which has never been tried before, not counting all the times it failed miserably, of course. Are we supposed to be taking this garbage seriously? Because I don't think there's anyone left who can. Oh, I know, I'm an ist or a phobe, and, or both, because rationality is racist. Square pegs fit into round holes, too. Crisis exhaustion is a real thing, but I think we're past the mere exhaustion part with this insanity. I honestly don't think anyone cares what kind of an ist or phobe they're called, because it's so incredibly fake. No one believes this madness, not even its idiotic proponents. There's a reason none of the protesters that show up on safe college campuses or in cities that have the backbone to stop them will talk to anyone from the other side. Their ideology is so irrational that it can't survive even really bad arguments against it. They can't win an actual argument with anything remotely resembling a fact. Heck, they can't even win appeals to emotion because those are based in the very bigotry and hatred they claim to be fighting against. It's sad and pathetic. Also, we're over it. Ivy League, New England, hoity-toity snobs may pay lip service to this nonsense, but they don't let those no-person-is-illegal immigrants stay in their self-declared sanctuary cities, now do they? Hypocritical is way too mild a term. Also, guys, your hypocrisy is showing, Ivy boys. Americans, the red-blooded kind that couldn't care less what kind of packaging God made for you, aren't buying the swill anymore, and I don't just mean Bud Light. We know who we are and where we came from. We know our history and regret the bad and celebrate the good. We know male from female, good from evil, and that God is real. We know that we're not racist, even if we are imperfect. We know that reason beats idiocy every day of the week. We know that degeneracy only leads to destruction. And most of all, we know you guys are morons. So take your istophobe terrorism and shove it. We've got better things to do. To borrow from Larry Elder, we've got a country to save. So why don't you crawl off to your safe spaces while we do that?